Tonight, Texas in the bullseye again, with flash floods stunning drivers in Dallas and lightning potentially setting a suburban church and multiple homes on fire, say authorities. Heavy rain and winds flipping semis, mangling metal buildings, and authorities say killing one person. Hail piercing the roof of this Walmart. And at DFW, incredible video of nearly 80 mile per hour gusts appearing to push a plane from its gate. American Airlines saying there were no injuries and its maintenance team is conducting thorough inspections. Hundreds of flights canceled. Today, more than 1 million Texas customers without power. All of it capping a harrowing holiday weekend with more than 60 tornadoes reported across 14 states, including Kentucky, where Clara Rice's worst nightmare repeated itself. This is not the first tornado that you've been through. No, ma'am. The mother and grandmother became famous back in 2021 when a tornado destroyed her home and sent her bathtub flying, her two baby grandsons inside clutching her Bible. I had no clue at all where these babies was. Here we need help. We got some under this uh, debris. Miraculously, the boys were found alive and Rice rebuilt. My mama made that. Sunday, her home was obliterated again. Authorities say Memorial Day weekend storms killed five people in Kentucky, close to two dozen nationwide. With more than 1,000 tornadoes reported, 2024 is now the second busiest start to a year ever recorded. Rice's family, this time taking cover in a neighbor's storm shelter. Will you rebuild here again? Yes, ma'am. You will. Yes, ma'am. If you can afford a tornado shelter anyway at all, get you one. Get in it and use it. Just use it. God's put it there. It's a pretty incredible story. Maggie Vespa joining us now live in Dawson Springs, Kentucky. Maggie, we're learning more about the power of the tornadoes that tore through there. Yeah, Lester, we're now talking about four confirmed tornadoes. And the National Weather Service says the one that swept through here and obliterated this home was an EF3, packing winds up to 165 miles per hour. They say it was on the ground for 37 miles. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.